The head of the Minneapolis Police Federation confirms both officers involved in the shooting death of Jamar Clark have completed their interviews with the BCA. And now the names of those officers have been released. They are Officer Mark Riggenberg and Officer Dustin Schwartz. Both have been police officers for seven years, including 13 months with the Minneapolis Police Department. Now, 24-year-old Jamar Clark was shot by Minneapolis police early Sunday. The VCA says officers did not have dash cam video or body camera video to help with this investigation. However, agents are reviewing partial videos from various sources like witnesses, the ambulance that treated the assault victim on the scene, cameras from public housing, and Minneapolis police portable cameras. Black Lives Matter wants the video released to the public, but the BCA says that is not going to happen at this time. Now that the officers' names have been made public, Clark's family and the Minneapolis Urban League have been asking for more demands. Ashley Roberts joins us live now with the latest. And Ashley, what are they saying? Allie, Jamar Clark's sister says she doesn't want revenge in her brother's death. She wants answers and closure. Those words echoed by the Minneapolis Urban League. The president laid out the group's demands this morning before community members as well as Clark's family. Here's what they're asking for. They're demanding the BCA share the partial videos they're reviewing in the case. They also want the service records of the Minneapolis officers involved in Clark's shooting. And the league says as far as those partial videos that withholding that evidence won't change witness accounts. The biggest this question everyone wants answered, including the league, Black Lives Matter, and Clark's family, is what happened specifically between police and Clark that led to the shooting. Everything that's happened to him, he did not deserve. I'm um, just like your brother or your cousin or your son does not deserve to be shot down in the street like an animal. Um, and walked away from, like, um, his life did not matter. Yes, black lives matter, white lives matter, Chinese lives matter. Everybody's life matter because God gave it to you. And uh, members of Black Lives Matter are still here at the police precinct on Plymouth. Clark's sister told them that she supports their efforts. So, Ashley, what is the next step? We've seen uh, protests, rallies, and the demonstration that shut down Interstate 94. Well, Allie, the Urban League says there are witnesses who are afraid to come forward. For that reason, they're asking anyone who witnessed anything uh, involving Clark shooting to come to the Urban League office on Plymouth tomorrow between 4 and 7 p.m. Ashley, thank you.